Now let's say you are given the pH and you have to work from there. Um, if that happens, you're still going to use um, the same reference square and you're going to still use the exact same formulas, just where you're starting and ending is going to be different. So uh, they said they gave you 0.6 for the pH. That means you're here. Um, to figure out these other things, you'll either have to follow arrows up to get to H+, plus, or across to get to the pOH. Um, to get to the OH-, minus, which is the hydroxide ion concentration, that's going to be a two-step problem. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, going to figure out the H+. Plus. Uh, to do that, it is the second log of my negative pH, because here I am at pH, and I'm going to take this arrow up. That's the second log of the negative pH. Or, once again, depending on your calculator, it could be the shift log of the negative pH. So you got two varieties of calculators here. Um, this calculator it is going to be shift and log. And this calculator, it's going to be second and log. Um, both of them are going to require you to find the negative button. This one is way down here at the bottom. And this one is over here. Negative and minus are not the same button. The next uh, step is to um, put that in your calculator. So I've got the second log of negative 0.6. When I put that in my calculator, I get 0.25. Now, I could either let that ride and go across the top of the screen over here um, and go that direction, or I could go all the way around. It doesn't matter. Uh, the next thing was POH, so I chose to just go along here. It's the easy route. 14 minus the pH is what my problem is, 14 minus the pH. So that's 14 minus 0.6, which gets me 13.4. Um, now I'm over here at the pOH. To go up to the hydroxide ion concentration, I'm going to take the second log of the negative pOH, or once again, the shift log of the negative pOH. So my formula is the second log of the 13.4, it's already in my calculator, so I have to take the second log of my negative answer. Try not to clear your calculator out when possible, and just let the numbers ride. So that's going to be 3.98 times 10 to the negative 14. I'd like to show you something here. This negative 14 gives you some insight to what your POH will be. It's usually just under whatever this number is, but above what the next number would be. So this is a negative 14, and underneath that would be a negative 13, and this number is between those two, and it'll always work out that way. Um, the next thing you could do is you can do a check of your answer, and to do a check of your answer, um, you can go along the top here where it is um, 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by my OH, so 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by my OH concentration, which of course was 3.98 times 10 to the negative 14, and that I'm going to leave it ride because that was in my calculator already, and I get 0.25118643, which as you may notice, lets me know that these answers must be correct because I've made it all the way around the square. There you go. It's as easy as that.